Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a Cupra Estate, a car which I've never filmed before. Of course, I've filmed many of the hatchback variants, this one of course being the Estate. Uh, it's a bit of a dad wagon and a pretty fast one at that. This is a stage three car running a hybrid turbo, running around 530 horsepower as well. It's also got a custom wide body kit on it. It's a really, really nicely modified car as I'm sure you will find out very soon. Of course, we are joined with Phil, the owner. Have a walk around uh, the car with him. Basically see exactly what he's done to it. He's had it since new, so everything you see has been done by him. And then we'll hop out and have a spin in this 520 brake estate Cupra. Okay, so we're joined now with Phil, the owner. Thank you very much for bringing this absolute beauty onto the channel today. Thanks I, for having me. Oh, mate, mm -hmm. absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. This is a really, really nicely modified car. Some of the details which you guys at home will be seeing, yeah, it's it's been really, really well done. You've had it from new as well, haven't you? From brand new, yeah. yeah. So it's nearly five years old, it's nice. a 2018. Is it really? Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, they, they, they've aged really well, actually. Yeah. But yeah, obviously, seeing as we've got the bonnet open, uh, first of all, I think we'll give a, give a bit of a walk around if that's all right. Okay, so it is now stage three. I yep. call it a baby stage three compared yeah. to the other guys in the group. <laughs> so it's running a Venom 500 turbo. I've got a turbo smart diverter valve. Uh, it's a forge one piece intake to an APR open cone. Yep. Some other bits on here. It's got a forge front mount intercooler. Yep. And it's a Miltech sports cap downpipe. Yep. Nice, nice. Um, is it just a downpipe on it, or is it? Uh, no, so then it's back All the way. to a full Miltech system, nice. non resonated, but yep. on the estate, they have two back boxes, which is, ah, makes okay. it a bit quieter. Yeah, than the yeah, because it is still a. Is it still a, a dad wang? Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, yeah, it's got the dog, the kid, and the wife in the car oh, most of the time. Brilliant. So, yeah. That's what it's all about. Stock internals as well. Uh, stock internals, yeah. yeah. So it's running 520. Yeah. So right. I'm kind of like on the limits there. So yeah, yeah. yeah always a worry. <laughs> I was thinking about going meth, but with the dog in the back, it's yeah. Yeah, it's just you a lose bit space. Yeah. Yeah, he'll start moaning at you. Think, yeah, What's exactly. This big tank in and the, back? the wife would be killing me. So. <laughs> yeah. Visually um, as well, there's been a lot which has gone on. Um, yeah. Mainly the kit that's on it, yeah. the wide body kit. So which this is very cool. This has only just been done. Basically, it's a uh, genuine see it. Cupra R kit, but they only made them for the hatchback. So mm -hmm. at the rear, they've had to do quite a bit of modifying here because the hatch bumper kind of finishes here. Yep. And this line is kind of up here. So okay. they've had to chop the rear vent to make yep. it work. There's some foreign STs that we've seen that actually cut the vent off and just yeah. had it as an art. Okay, yeah. But I wanted to keep the vent to try and keep the wide aggression yeah, on it. Yeah, because from the back, you can see obviously the little vent there. Really, really cool. And then the other piece that had to be quite modified was um, this spoiler, which again mm. is for a hatch. It's a Leapwork spoiler. Okay. But it comes to about here <laughs> when it's on the hatchback. <laughs> yeah. And also the curve of the hatch is a lot different. Uh, so they've had to fiberglass underneath to make it oh, sort wow. of flatten out. A lot um, of custom work then. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit. Fit. And that's quite literally just been done, isn't it? Literally just been done. Wow. Then there's things like the badges have been all colour coded. Yeah, all the little bits like that. Uh, this is a Riga diffuser. This is usually black plastic. They sprayed that gloss black nice. as well. Yeah. And of course the bonnet as well. That's one thing. Oh, the bonnet. Yeah, bonnet's the crazy one. Yeah. yeah. This is really cool. So it's a, a TCR bonnet vent, which usually comes in. It's carbon fibre and yeah. it usually sticks over the top of the bonnet and mm. you cut the hole in but the body shop has molded it completely in. So Which is it looks so like nice. it's, yeah, part of the bonnet. And you can see obviously part of the yellow details yeah. in the engine bay as well. Cause yeah, the, the TCR vent is something which I was thinking of doing to my Golf. Oh right, okay. Being a track car. Yeah. Um, but having it molded in just looks so clean. And the great thing about this as well is the intake noise is so, it's even yeah. louder now, yeah, which is course. amazing. Of course. Yeah. It's a DSG car, obviously, as well. Yep. Um, the estate's all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, so, yeah. yeah so, unlike the hatches. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, 520 brake, it, it, I can imagine it takes it really well as well. Um, and these are, uh, like, the Cupra R grills. They've okay. just been, usually you get a fog light here and just yep, some slats, but yeah, they delete yeah. the fog light and then that's awesome. been colour coded. Perfect. Well, so. mate, no, it's an absolute stunner. Absolute stunner. And I'm really looking forward to experiencing it. So I think that's pretty much everything. Yep. We'll get it fired up and go for a Let's spin. Let's go for it, yeah. Yeah, that flies. 
It's the thing with the Cupras, the hatchback variants, is they just spin really easy, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. Well. But there are a few things which, stupidly, we uh, managed to gloss over and completely forget about on the walk around. Wheels yeah. and brakes Wheels have and obviously brakes. been done as well. Yeah, so I've got Revo AP6 pots. Nice. Yeah. And Revo, I think they're RV 019s. The full Revo setup. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Other than it's got some racing line stud and nut kit. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. And uh, forge spacers, mm -hmm. which you'll probably hear if we go over any humps, have now made the rear catch. Oh, so which is a, a Yeah, bits. which is a little bit yeah. annoying. Um, because on the hatchback, that would have been fine, I think, but because yeah. of the weight on the back and the all-wheel drive, it's starting to make it catch. Sure. So I think the next mod, as long as the wife's not watching <laughs> this, is probably going to be <laughs> some coilovers. Nice, yeah. Uh, just yeah. raise the back up a little bit. Yeah. So it's obviously a car you've had from you as well. Yeah, yeah, so nearly five years now, and wow. it's been through all three stages. So yeah. Start, oh, so you did stage one, stage, stage two. two yeah. Nice. It's uh, yeah. yeah, been a bit of a money pit in that yeah. respect. <laughs> yeah. I should have had the end goal plan and gone for it, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. just bit by bit. So. I've got to say though, it's it's really classily done. Like I, I'm a lover for the the grey and yellow. Obviously, yeah. the, that's the theme of my A45s. But yeah, some of the touches in here are really really nice. Thanks very much. Um, yeah. There's a lot of custom work done in. Side as yeah. well, actually. The yeah, seats yeah. as well. The seats have got some inlays that, that just basically make the Cooper writing pop out. Mm -hmm. uh, a company called EZM, which is a group sponsor on yep. the Mark III Leon Cooper Owners Club. Mm -hmm. So he's done that. A lot of the underneath vinyl is from him as well. Oh, okay. And then the seat backs were done by the body shop. So yeah. they're usually just a black plastic, mm -hmm. and I got them done body coloured, yeah. which a few of the guys on the group have started it off the hatchback guys and mm. again the group's really good the mark three uh facebook group loads of guys on there really helpful <laughs> it's just so just, just point effort, shoot effort, go effortless, right and you're away so like the difference between the hatchback and this is this weather like obviously yeah, yeah in summertime the hatchbacks are crazy yeah like you can't on roll them on a roll like, yeah. you can't keep up with them yeah. but well, that spool <laughs> you can hear it catching now yeah, which is yeah. really annoying like, i was like i didn't even go too big i just wanted to get the oh lotus oh yeah, yeah nice. the spring and there is that a GTR? Oh, no, uh, it's a... That's uh, the new V12 Vantage. New V12, yeah. Ooh. Nice. Got a bit of car spotting. Yeah. <laughs> is it still, it's still a daily though, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. It, it, it gets used at the weekends, yeah. but it, it's usually a family weekend car, so... Yeah, yeah. It's the only... Pretty cool family weekend <laughs> car, I do say so myself. <laughs> so usually it's pootling along, but yeah, yeah, we're planning to go to the ring this year. So nice. the, with all the Cooper guys, there's nice, probably yeah, about really 12 good. of us from the group going. Oh, epic, so. yeah. Have you done any track work? it before is that going to be the no, first this is yeah it will be the first yeah <laughs> just doesn't doesn't slip at no, all does it doesn't it? hesitate at all <laughs> the exhaust it's not too droney or no. aggressive or anything is it no it, it gives like on obviously in cooper it's mm. like gives the overruns but they're nothing like the hatchback guys yeah, which are like yeah. crazy man i mean I if i put it so far back as well isn't it if i put it in comfort like you just Don't you it's... won't even hear anything yeah. you just hear intake yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like a bit there's no pops on the yeah overrun. yeah I think it's probably one of the best sounding kits on the MQB if you want sound. Yeah, yeah. I did have a Forge carbon closed intake. Yeah. Uh, which was a great bit of kit, loved it, but yeah, just wanted a bit more sound. And a bit more noise, yeah. So the open cone was the way. The open cone was the way. You've got yeah. the APR one. There's an integrated engineering one, which sounds really nice as well. Okay, yeah, I think I've heard of that one. And then there's the new Ram Air. They've done a Pro Ram one, which is like a metal pipe now. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it, to a cotton cone rather than the foam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 that 
that actually jumped it to second gear. And that's Did the first it? time, yeah. And wow. it, was, it didn't have traction, it, it yeah. dropped it. I'm surprised. But yeah, no, mate, thank you so much for uh, for bringing this out on the channel. It's, uh, yeah, one hell of a car, one hell of a car. Um, and yeah, as you said, a lot of work has gone into it as well, hasn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, it has us five years nearly. Of yeah. Chopping and changing like we all do. Yeah, you know, for you sure. A lot of custom work as yeah. well, thanks to a lot of companies. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, big thanks to uh, the body shop, ENA Coachworks, which mm -hmm. they're based in Wembley, family friend. Yeah. Uh, really nice guys. I think also to Unicorn Motorsport, who actually did the tuning for the car, and also AKS, uh, mm -hmm. based in Bedford, they did the TVS tune. Oh, yes, I forgot course. to say, yeah, so it's a yeah. TVS stage three yeah. tune, which I think you, if you've got an MQB car, they're the only ones to go yeah, to yeah. for TCE. And also Mark Brown at Progressive Parts, he's been- Yeah, I know Mark. Yeah, yeah. Dear, really yeah, good yeah. guy. He's been such a help with yeah. questions, even though they're obviously all the way up in Manchester. Yeah. There is, uh, <laughs> He's a, they're a group sponsor as well for the Keeper Group, so yeah, yeah he's Perfect. a great guy. But yeah, no, mate, no, it's uh, an absolute beast. Thanks <laughs> very much. Beast. Yeah. Of course, if you guys do want to learn more about the build, I will leave your Instagram down in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.